about. We've been, we've been gassing up Semi, of course. Yeah, of course. He's my favorite player to watch. There is another player. I can't lie. He is my favorite player to watch. We do have to talk about Andres FN, uh, kind of the FGC guy of yeah. EU. Plays all of them, all four of them. Ops for Terry most of the time. Kind of abuses that mobility, the burst range of Terry mm -hmm. for a good reason. He's, he's played Super Semi a lot of the time. And I do think he has a winning record on him. Yeah. Um, and honestly, you'd think like, man, projectiles must be good against FGC, but you know, Andres will put you into corners in a real FGC uh, type of style and really just keep you in that corner. It's hard to get past. And again, with Terry, when the green light show, when goes going on, uh, it's really hard to kind of survive. One of the funniest interactions in this matchup that people don't actually know about is Buster Wolf will go through Fire Arrow just completely. A lot of people don't actually remember that that move has a little bit of armor yep. on it. Uh, so what is oftentimes a really good neutral tool for uh, Young Link becomes really challenging to use because if you get called out, you will die. And I believe uh, Terry's F tilt does have a little bit of a tangibility on it as well. So mm -hmm. you'll be seeing, uh, seeing him cap that leg a, a couple of times just to thought through these uh, projectiles, maybe. Yeah, it's disjointed. That move is a sword. That move is a sword. Disgusting. It's a good Ooh, start from okay. Terry. You can see, getting confirms that kill of jabs is insane. Of down tilt, too. Yeah, that being said, we are seeing a little bit of SDI coming out from Super Semi, trying to avoid uh, the down B coming off the back of the jab, forcing Andreas FN to have to go for the up B. Uh, it does kill a little bit later, especially at the edge, but it will kill eventually. Okay, he's going to get that into the space and get the down tilt. Very safe on shield. Oh, I like nice. that. Yeah. Okay, I like the idea. Really clever stuff, but obviously iframes on that charged version of the up B, Andreas FN, just a little bit more familiar and almost a reset in the corner, catch the air dodge, jump used, the crash you also used, so the air dodge has to come out. And I'm loving these B reverse and wave bounce side Bs and that neutral Bs as well to make sure uh, Andreas is kind of guessing where he's going to go. I like that. Use the bomb to recover. Yep. Yeah. I love that. That's so crispy. Checkmating in that situation with the bomb. We saw him pull out the bomb so early to set that up. Love it from Super Semi. And this is big damage early. The arrow now set up behind. Uh-oh, missing the grab though. Now you're going to get a little bit down for no up air available. Oh, this is scary. It's very scary. <laughs> I was going to say, if that up air connects, that could be the stock. Fortunately, able to use the footstool to get out of that situation as the jump had already been used. Okay. Okay. Grab the ledge again. Why not? I actually hadn't grabbed it for the first time, just grabbed it with the tether, so I actually still got the invincibility on that. Sure. And I feel like that's clever too. Players might not realize, may think, you know, after you throw out an aerial near the ledge, you're going for a re-grab. Uh, kind of a clever way to get back for Young Link, as we said earlier, coming back off stage can be a little bit more challenging. And using the long uh, blow up time of those bombs to his advantage, being able to juggle them a little bit and put on a little bit of extra pressure. Why not? I'm liking the tether cancel star beats, kind of keep Andres gassing, but oh man, watch your shield. Jab three, push him away. Has time to set up again. Avoids the power geyser, tries to go for the forward end uh, drag down, but just uh, can't find it. Yeah, unfortunately the bomb's setting the opposite direction, make sure that the curtain firm is not able to come through. And now Andreas trying to pressure, trying to find the right hit, and the back air is going to do it as he's able to catch the bomb. A lot of the time, obviously, another weakness, I'd say, Young Link, you know, uh, can get straight hits, but usually has to set up to kill a little time, whereas Terry has straight hits out of the wazoo, so. Yeah, and kill confirms, like, it's yeah. both. <laughs> um, that being said, able to maintain the even stocks we've seen from Andres FN, just a little bit more consistent in finding uh -oh. those kill confirms early, but a commitment off stage, 70%. Terry now. What do we got at the ledge? One of the best spots you can be. That falling there at the ledge is so good. Uh, what we see a lot of Terry's do at the ledge is that full hop down air into the falling there coming down. Sets up so many potential kill confirms. Okay, good trade for Andres, I'd say. As the percent keeps on rising, only needs to go like, what, 30% more? Before it gets real scary. Oh, these bears are coming out. <laughs> the next time one hits, I'm getting very, very scared. But Super Sammy doing just good enough right now. Make sure that he's safe. Oh. The down tilt catches the roll back. And he's on 100% exactly. Just what he needs. And I one believe, confirm. I believe Young Link's roll is not good. Nope. One of the one of the lesser ones in the game. So potential for Terry to make something big happen. But the triple arrow into the up air, not quite going to be enough. The air dodge to the ledge and the down air to catch the jump. He's still surviving off the initial hit of down. That's a strong move too. Oh the my forward God, the not misses. Mark, Andres somehow surviving. Oh! But back air one F tilt. Super Semi finally finding that game and damn. And we saw a glimpse for a second of why Young Link can be hard to play. That was three things that looked like they should have killed in a row against a character like Terry that will blow you up for getting a second chance. Super Semi just good enough, though, to find that kill confirm uh, on the roll. Really good option coverage. Yeah, honestly, Super Semi's doing a good job kind of setting up the minefield a lot of the time. 
uh, putting bombs in different places, the arrows and uh, and the fire fire arrows are in the boomerangs to make sure that Andre is always having to flicker his shield. Mm -hmm. So he's not kind of comfortable with you abusing that burst mobility I talked about with Terry. If he's always flickering his shield, you're going to have a little bit of lag some of the times. And uh, Super Saiyan is very comfortable kind of converting off that. Finding that kill at the end, though, that was scary. Uh, yeah. That was very, very harsh. And I believe it does take 11 frames to drop shield, so you're you're stuck there for a while. If, if someone's getting you to flicker shield yep. uh, on and off, it doesn't sound like a long time, but it's enough for a young Link to set up the next thing that he's trying to do as soon as you see it. Obviously, if you jump, it's just uh, the jump lag's only three frames, but then you have to commit to yep. uh, whatever you're doing after that. So great stuff from Super Semi, recognizing where the advantages could be pushed in those situations. Uh, and using Young Link to the strongest, double back air into the dash tag. Classic. And the P36%. Classic. No conversion right now, but again, fighting a couple projectiles, the wave bounce side B, get away mm -hmm. from me. I got spacing tools. Yeah, that's even safer than the regular yep. one, which is already safe. Don't look at the frame there, guys. You will be sick. Promise you. That's our guarantee. That's our warning for the day. <laughs> Up B, don't land on me. There's the up air. Strong damage. Barely hasn't even touched yet. I'm gonna really bug someone and just say the RNG. <laughs> <laughs> the random. Just wow, like that. Back, back air, air one. one. Up smash. And that's a zero to death Hell coming yeah. out from Super Sammy. The back air one on the top of the platform. Really good pickup. Well, it's character like Terry 2 who relies on that comeback. This is kind of the worst position for him to be in because now you're a stock down and you're at zero percent. So don't even have. Uh, you can't even unlock your special moves yet. Yeah, it had no chance to use Go in that situation. Now already at 81%. And yeah, a character like Youngling, that Go is your win condition because theoretically you will be losing in neutral up yeah. until that point. You need something big to make a comeback. And man, getting up smash in that moment, so difficult to be reversed on that down B allows him to get the punish on the roll. I like that, okay. Burning up, gonna push him away. Now you're on stage yet yeah, again on the ledge where Andres wants you, but again, Super Semi fighting back. Plucks the bomb in the air as well, doesn't even get punished for it. And is gonna keep on applying pressure on him. Yeah, could have potentially uh, got the Buster Wolf, but instead goes for the Power Geyser off the back of that board tilt. And the read on the roll in, not going to quite be enough. Terry's a heavy boy. Super Semi at 77%. The right hit can do the trick, but the same can be said for Young Link. And the same will be said the for Young Link. The lingering down there. Yo, Super Semi only taking 77% against an FGC character. Unheard of. It go, goes for the rising tackle. Can't find it. And now Andre's in trouble. Yup, he shields it all. Gets time to punish it with a double down tilt. Okay, and hey, smashes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, big read on the air dodge out after that F smash. But I mean, is it enough, right? You need to make a big comeback and then start there with the jab jab power dunk. Put him at the ledge trying to find some way out. That's the grab. Yep, scoops up. Oh. I can't do dash attack. Yeah, that's the classic. I actually snuck that in. I thought Andreas Aven would have enough time to tech uh, in that situation, but Super Sammy too good on the confirm. The fair one drag down into the jab, into the dash attack. The I pressure. like that. It doesn't end. Do we see another down air? That's on the bombs on the ledge. Yep, nah. Nice. drop in. Now you're in trouble. Okay, sure. Interesting. <laughs> sure. Go for something freaky. <laughs> something freaky. <laughs> Bustle Wolf, yeah. Let's it rip Going on the shield. Going through the projectiles, yep. Yeah. The armor. I believe is able to spend that up B and Andreas. Missing two potential chances off stage, letting the Buster Wolf rip again, knowing that the win condition is this big hit, but Super Semi. Too aware, too good in those moments. And when you put up the stock lead like that as a character like Young Link, it becomes so much harder to make that comeback. And I feel like he was showing a bit too much greed there, Andres. You know, going for the Buster Wolf in the second part again, trying to uh, obviously expecting the projectiles to come his way. Uh, and maybe showing his face a bit too much. And Super Sammy going to take advantage of that, take the 2 0 lead now. And wow, uh, what a game, man. He was really, really coming back uh, into the set, Andres. But, you know, when Super Sammy turns up the Jets, uh, having a zero to death to start off that second game yeah, after yeah. winning the first game uh, is such a good start for him. And off the back of something strange, yeah. you know, a rising back air onto the platform into an up smash. I mean, you see that on the ground sometimes. So you can have to catch an option off the back of the platform. Very, very good awareness from Super Semi to realize that a kill confirm was even possible there. Now he's kind of seeing, you know, who, which FGC character do I pick now? <laughs> which do I select, you know? There's three more. Which Choose one you want? <laughs> There's three more. Which one you want? Option for the Ken now. I like it. I like I see, it. I can see why. The Terry wasn't working too, too well, wasn't able to find too much off the go meter. So potentially uh, looking for those Ken resets, something big off the back of uh, the Tatsumaki uh, and some of the mix you can get off the back of that. Even again, potentially opening up shield break options and other things like that if Semi is blocking too much. Okay, this is the light tap through right now. Yeah, yep. the king into back here. Yo. 
There's the fun stuff. Oh, man. And the oh. trade. Just like that. And potentially, maybe like a that. little bit more presence offstage with that Nair. A yes. reason that he actually went for the Ken over Terry. Okay. Jabs into the Nair. Why not? Oh. The Nair going to push him out more. Still has a jump, though. Has to recover low. Yeah. Goes up high with the taxi, but of course, semi covering it too. The focus through the second arrow, not gonna work out. Getting a couple trades with Super Semi so far, but honestly, Super Semi having lost that first stock in the driver's seat for the most start, it's just a matter of if he's able to find this kill. Confirm every single time you don't kill Ken, it gets harder and harder and harder, especially with that rage building up. And I think that he's understanding that, you know, Super Zemi's kind of usually approaching with narrow stuff, but that like, single hit moves, Focus Attack can kind of armor through it, though. So. Yeah, I mean, he does have an option for dealing with Focus Attack in that forward air, which yeah. does have two hits, or even going Nair into Nair, but we haven't seen too much of it at this point. The Nair across the stage isn't enough to do it. The up B will. So much coverage. Yeah, I really like what he's doing with the bomb to be able to go a little bit lower than he normally would with yeah. that up D to find those checkmate situations uh, where you normally wouldn't be able to get them. Nice parry on the second hit of that forward air, though. Really good awareness. Angles showed up with I like that. Smart, but still, Andre's expecting a roll or something. Goes for the focus that counts. Has to level it up to level two. No conversion off it, though. Missing the grab, but still, Super Semi has enough time to keep on going. Throws the arrow out. The boomerang, too. Finding a way back into oh, this no. big damage early from Young Link. Just enough shield to not get shield broken. And Ken at the ledge, not where you want to be. Able to get out with the focus attack with another hit coming in fast enough. Okay. Okay. High jump. Oh, man. Seems like that doesn't work. We've seen him go for it a couple of times. Maybe just missing the spacing a little bit. Allow the jab to kind of thwart the ways of the focus that cancel the arrows. The boomerangs too. Good trade for Anders to push him away. He's got time to space around now. All right, pushing Super Semi to the corner. So what you have to do is these FGC characters, especially against donors, slowly cut off the stage until they're in the corner and they're forced to interact with you at the range that you want. Sure. A lot of pressure now. Yeah, oh, Super Semi commits to the dash attack. Strong back air from Andres. It's led to have, uh, again. And oh, no. air dodges for the weak hit of Shoryoken. But still, gets the roundhouse kick. We're still on board, still on board, still in the game. A little bit of an overextension from Super Semi coming down with that bear gives Andreas FN an opportunity to punish and take the stock. The parry into the F-Till is gonna do it at 170%, even stocks now across the board. And even though Andreas has had the advantage for the most of this game, already at 47% at the ledge. Yeah, that double back air into dash attack is, is so easy damage. And it puts your stage horizontally too, so. What's crazy too is if you want to get cute with it, you can start throwing out arrows after that, you can start throwing out boomerangs after that, and go for even more. Conversions are endless for Super Semi. Spacing away now with the bombs, with the arrows, with the ranks as well. Here's the, boom, here's the uh, arrow conversion. That feels so bad too, especially as you're a character that likes to scrap. You get hit with a straight arrow, get hit with a straight boomerang. You've actually been converted on from full screen into 30%. Trying to bait something out with a focus attack, that's that back. Attack. Heavy committal option. I have to imagine that's not what he wanted. Yeah. Off stage now, tough spot. Actually doesn't go low, an aggressive recovery is gonna pay off. The chase down with the up tilt, so avoids the fire over, gets hit with the second one. Back air, once again, puts him off stage. The high commitment not expected, even the second time from Super Semi, that Nair fast enough to mash out, and the bomb will clank with the up B, giving him an opportunity, not going raw for the Nair like we've seen before. Instead, using the bomb as a buffer and a three. Oh, is that winner's side top eight? I believe so. Super Semi is uh, incredible, man. 3-0 to get there. I don't know if it's top eight, but he's, he's definitely advancing high into the bracket. <laughs> God damn. My Super heart. <laughs> He's a beast, man. He's he's so scary. And a lot of the times where you know you think the arrow is gonna whiff, you think he's gonna uh, do something else, always finds a way to convert it.